How's it going everybody? Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video and this time around we're going to be going over the recent leaks for the November version of V-Jump specifically for fighters. Now as I covered in my previous season 2 predictions video I did mention that November 17th is usually around the time that these would leak but I didn't actually totally expect we'd see anything. It was more just me mentioning it in case but it does appear that we did get a tiny bit of information. Now some of this information is going to be more important to players of a certain region versus another for for example, a deluxe edition of Fighters is making its way to Japan on January 31st. You can think of this as a complete edition of the game. It will include all DLC updates and characters for a cheaper price. Whether or not this version will make it over to the West is entirely unknown, but I would guess probably not considering you can just buy the Fighters Pass uh, and it's pretty much the same thing. That said, the fact that Japan is getting a version like this is pretty important, but we'll talk about that a little later, as now we're going to get into some things that are coming to the game globally through an update. So we are getting a Fighters Fighters Tenkaichi Budokai new game mode. I wouldn't get too excited about this though, I'm not sure, completely sure if it is a tournament mode. For now it just looked like the leaks list them as a mode with different fighting conditions and rules to the fights, uh, so you never know, that could mean uh, literally anything, but it is pretty cool that they are adding new game modes to the base game. We're also getting a Z Trophy Room, which is just a room that you can look at and decorate various trophies that you can collect through the game. Again, not too exciting, but for certain players I'm sure that will be an interesting feature. And then last but not least we're getting Christmas capsules <laughs> building off of how I said no game ends off on Halloween decorations, now we're getting Christmas decorations as well. So in these capsules, just like the Halloween ones, you can expect holiday themed avatars for the lobby, holiday themed character colors, and I'm sure we'll also get some holiday themed titles as well. As far as the leaks go, I'm not too sure when this update is supposed to drop, but I would assume sometime soon so that they could actually get the holiday capsules out on time, but it is hard to say for sure. Now because this video is a little on the shorter side, I did want to take a minute to talk about why this news excites me personally. even though the news we got isn't all too exciting by itself. To me this does indicate that they are going to continue building off fighters as a base through more seasons of DLC instead of going that new game route. The reason I say this is of course we're getting new capsules for holiday themes, something that they can continue throughout the thing. We're getting a new game mode put into the base game. And Japan is also getting a complete version of the game with all the DLC, which could be an effort on their part to try to get Japanese players to try out the game and then purchase the second season pass if they want to. Of course, none of that's confirmed. That's just something that from my perspective would probably be a smart business move. And I did want to mention, by the way, guys, there are plenty more dates to come. If you missed my old video, Jump Fest is coming up soon, which is a huge place for all things anime. And we also have the Fighters World Tour coming to an end soon here in January. So this is not the end of Fighters news or Fighters. Things are only starting to ramp up, so I would definitely stay excited for the future. With that said, let me know what you think about Christmas capsules, whether or not you're going to spend your zenny on them, and whether or not you'd like to see this deluxe fi final cheaper edition come over to, to the West. I'm not sure if they would ever do that, but I would like to hear your opinion on it. I know a lot of people were waiting for the final edition of the game so that they could jump in and get running with all the characters at a cheaper price. And also, let me hear some speculation on this Fighters Tenkaichi Budokai game mode. I, I, I pretty much just shots in the dark. <laughs> but while you're down in the comments, if you like these videos and want to see more like them, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so that you never miss a video. Speaking of that, I also have videos on your screen right now of me actually playing this game if you want to give those a watch. Other than that, I'm Dr. Doya, and I'll see you in the next video.